Hello and welcome to another edition of the StarCraft II Arcade Highlight. Today, we're taking a look at Titan Arena, a classic capture the flag game that gives players a ton of strategic choices through customized weapons and items. Titan Arena supports up to 12 players and is all about teamwork. At the start of the match, you can select one of seven different weapons, each with unique characteristics. Additionally, add-ons allow you to customize your weapons and offer more strategic choice. For instance, the flamethrower, you can increase its damage and range with the jet fuel add-on. The talent section offers you a choice of a passive skill or an active item. Careful choice is important as a perfectly timed shield or speed boost can make all the difference when going for the glory. If you plan to run in the flag, you'll want to consider extra health. If you're planning to hang back and chase down opponents, the speed boost is going to be a good option. The game offers three unique maps to choose from. High Garden has ramps overlooking the center paths to each flag, which make for excellent vantage points to scout incoming enemies and offer cover for your teammates. Make use of the explosive barrels to finish an opponent or to keep them at bay. Bunker has a distinct military feel and provides opportunities for line of sight maneuvers and clever use of the fog of war. This map allows the cam drone item to shine as clutch vision can help land long range shots. Sewers has the most complex terrain and knowing where you can maneuver will determine your tactical options. One bad jump and your Marine will be trudging through a thick slime. Every map has points that spawn either health packs or a single-use grenade. These are sure to be hotly contested areas, so make sure to travel in a team when attempting to move in. A few tips for your first time playing Titan Arena. Grenades are very powerful, but they can be tricky to use. Try to get used to how they bounce and their detonation timers. You can use the F1 and F2 keys to quickly change your weapons and talents. You can make adjustments at any time, but weapons will only change at your starting zone and items upon your next respawn. When grabbing a flag, you'll receive a speed penalty, but using your jump ability is a great way to overcome this. That's it for today's arcade highlight. Grab some friends and jump in to Titan Arena. If you don't own StarCraft II, you can still access the arcade and all of its games completely free. All you need to do is install StarCraft II from the Battle.net desktop app and log into the arcade. We'll see you next time.